the region. So that brings us to the dense fog advisory uh, now being extended till 2 p.m. for some areas, but not all because a lot of us have been lifting off. So having said that, though, we're still going to see uh, tomorrow morning with that fog as well. Then we go right into the weekend. We keep drying out, so the fog should be no more. And then that leads us right to our warmer weekend. So I want you to take a look right now into Dickinson. It's just the oohs and ahs there in the mountain time zone. Uh, 39 degrees, winds are light and south at three miles per hour. The sun is winning that battle over the moisture too. Uh, but we go to Minot starting to get a little um, more of that daylight peeking through too. You can see some of the frozen fog to the hoarfrost right there on that cable. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to keep that fog burning off from west to east. So that's basically what you need to know today. Now some of the roads, absolutely, they're going to be slick here anywhere in western central North Dakota because of just this rotation of what we're seeing the fog and then not the fog, the fog, then not the fog. It's burning off. Uh, so you bet tomorrow morning will be once again that foggy scene. I think it's been every single day this week we've had that in most areas. So our temperatures will be matching the dew point into the teens and 20s. We're going to keep that whole deck of cloud cover though moving off towards our east as now we're really highlighting a west wind so that's not only eliminating the fog it's providing us some warmer temperatures where we're going to see those highs in the 30s at that point we go into our saturday morning maybe just a hint of it i don't think it's going to be to the extent of what we're seeing now uh, but we're to the teens more melting takes place on saturday so now we're eliminating that moisture as if we're not already from yesterday and so that's going to help us out, but we go into the 30s and 40s at that point in time. Minot's KMOT Ag Expo going on right now. We saw Joe just there, 33 degrees. Be careful on those roadways because of the fog. But then we go right into our Friday. We have those highs at 39 degrees and a 20 mile per hour wind gust. So there's that warm air moving in. So just to break it down for you today, we have a high of 32 in Bismarck, 33 in Minot, where we have that sunshine. Hello to the 40s, even 50 degrees in Buffalo, South Dakota. Tonight, we've followed back to those 20s, a couple of upper teens areas of fog. We go into our Friday afternoon now. Look at the streamlines. That's the lines there that you're seeing moving from west east. So there's the west wind, high of 39 in Minot to Bismarck, 41 in Dickinson. We keep this rolling right into our Saturday and the upcoming weekend. Even Sunday in Buffalo now, 53 degrees gets cooler as you're traveling back home and cooler off towards the northeast. No precip to be had, rain or snow, despite the warmer temperatures. We're just favored, Krista, to stay very above normal here as we lean to not only the end of January, but through the first couple of days of February. It is so nice to see these normer, warmer temperatures on the way, and I think everybody's going to be a little bit thankful for some sunshine. Warmer temperatures, sunshine, and just longer days, too, That's for daylight. True. All mm -hmm. above. Great. Thanks so much, Heidi. Mm -hmm.